почитувани гледачи, ја следите емисијата Македонско издание, која што 22 години ве информира за поважните настани во македонската комуна во Торонто и околината и ве забавува со наша македонска музика. Емисијава, како што знаете, до пред две години се имитуваше на Каблобската телевизија во Онтарио, Роджерс ТВ, а од 2006-та секоја емисија после оригиналното емитување на телевизијата беше и перманентно поставена на нашиот сајт www.macedonianedition.tv. По укинувањето на Роджерс ТВ, канал 10, емисијата Македонско издание можете исклучиво да ја следите на нашиот сајт, кој што веќе го спомнатме, masayanedition.tv. Јас сум Победа Пискачева, уредникот и водителот на оваа програма, која што, како ни велите вие, со нетрпение ја очекувате секоја нова емисија. Денешнова емисија е 400... 22. поред и е прва во 2020. година. Во оваа емисија го одбележуваме најважниот настан во нашата комуна во изминатата година, кој што беше одржувањето на 14-тиот поред Македонски филмски фестивал во Торонто. Успехот на овој филмски фестивал остана забележан како најмногу последен македонски филмски фестивал надвор од границите на нашата земја. Меѓу многуте филмови најголемо внимание привлече документарниот филм Медена земја Ханиленд на режисерите Тамара Колтевска и Љубомир Стефанов. Филмот Медена земја како представник на нашата земја за Оскар е избран во трката за најдобрите пет интернационални филмови за 2019 година и меѓу најдобрите пет документарни филмови за истата година. Во проложение проследете што забележа нашата камера од прикажувањето на документарниот филм «Медена земја», каде што беше послужуван и природен мед, кој што е главна тема на овој филм, чија што органска продукција е пореметена од загадувањето на средината во која што живееме. This is my Zet. Zet Sumet. Great. The movie's about me. The Zet Sumet. Ima mama, majk treba da go čekam. 
Good afternoon, everyone. This is a unique thing for us. Uh, a sellout after 14 years. <laughs> My name is Virginia Evans. Welcome to the 14th annual Macedonian Film Festival. The mandate of the film festival is to screen films that have a Macedonian connection, like a director, a writer, um, an actor, a major actor, and also we've expanded it to uh, co-productions um, with other countries around us, because that's what uh, Macedonians are doing. They're cooperating. We encourage and promote new and young Macedonian filmmakers wherever they, wherever they reside. They are asked to submit their films by the required time where they're viewed uh, by a uh, committee of um, sele as co selection committee. We want to keep the standard of what we screen as high as possible. We'd like to thank our sponsors and for Honeyland, it's the Bidoff <coughs> Foundation. Thank you, the Bidoff Foundation, because it it was it was with um, with sponsors like the corporations, Macedonian corporations, people that support us, donate. Um, that makes it possible for us to do. I mean, there is not a, a, a cultural organization that makes money on tickets. They make they 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 do it with with people that are donating and supporting it. And this, uh, with Honeyland, it took me a year and a half, or about a year probably, to, uh, to get permission to screen it. But I knew that with the film that uh, these two uh, directors did for us last year, that we screened, uh, The Lake of Apples, I knew that Honeyland was going to be a real winner. And I want to thank also the, uh, the, the three uh, judges, um, uh, Christina Pokmorski, Frank Caruso, and Larry Ankelwitz, as well as our wonderful volunteers who give of their time in spite of the fact that they, are, they work full time. Their passion for this festival is evident in what we have achieved. Now for the Honeyland. This is an incredible film. It's, um, it, we've been watching these two, Lubomir Stefanov and Tamara Kotevska for some time, and, uh, and we take pride in presenting films uh, that the community at large, including Macedonians, will want to see. I think it's important to present these films by our, our directors, which reflect our culture and talent, and screen the filmmakers not only from Macedonia, but wherever they reside. It was a matter of pride for the Macedonians to get this film, actually because it won the most awards at the Sundance Film Festival. That's really big. That's very big. <laughs> and they may, and they have, uh, they have won wherever they have presented their film in subsequent uh, film festivals. We're, and now we're presenting it for you. And I realize that it has been in Toronto from Hot Docs to TIFF Lightbox, but you know, it's a lot more fun when we're surrounded by a bunch of Macedonians and seeing our own films. So it's, um, and, and I just wanted to also mention the fact that, that this film is being submitted by Macedonia to, uh, to the Oscars at, uh, in the category of best foreign film, not just documentary, best foreign film. That's really significant. <laughs> We will, all of us will be pulling for it when we watch those Oscars. Since this w does not have a Q&A, I've taken a little bit more time with the, with the introduction just to give you a few things that about, these, uh, uh, about this film. The fact that, that it took them three years, three years to film this film. 400 hours, 400 hours of film squeezed into an hour and a half. This is a documentary. When you see it, you're going to go, "Hey, this is like a this is like um, like a feature film," and it's and they've done an absolutely marvelous job. When you think that they um, that it, that the characters speak in Turkish because it's a 
It's a minority Turkish um, uh, village in Macedonia. And, um, and they, the directors are pretty special because after they won all kinds of money and awards and what have you, they went back and they bought her a house. That's special. Anyway, um, I want to also let, make sure that you realize that after this, uh, this uh, film, we have a group of uh, beekeepers or whatever that, that are, uh, one of them is a, is a, um, uh, a neighbor of mine, and they have, have a honey tasting afterwards, which will be kind of interesting after watching this honey of a film. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are completely sold out of both theaters, which is why things are a little crazy. We tried to, we have donors that uh, give money to support the festival. For them, we save a certain number of tickets where we allow them to come uh, for various shows. When they didn't show up within five minutes, we sold off the rest of those tickets to give everyone the opportunity to have a chance to see the movie. That's why uh, we tried to put so, we thank you for your patience. We apologize for the delay. Um, my name is Chris Oslis. I'm one of the members, the directors of the board for the festival. We are an entirely volunteer festival. Uh, everyone that operates and works on the film festival is a volunteer. Uh, we are also uh, very interested in supporting uh, new Macedonian filmmakers online on our website for those people who are filmmakers for next year's uh, uh, festival. You can provide information for what you've got in the way of the film if you know of somebody. They're all adjudicated by uh, a professional panel. And we thank you all of you because in fact, in effect, all of you, one of you that's come is a donor. So we appreciate the fact that you're here very much. Kanadsko tomakiransko mesto vo Toronto na svoj testanari im nudi ugodno živjalište, harmoničan život i odlična usluga. Pobarajte gdje na 416-755-9231. Samo što go gledate film od Honeyland, vaša ta impresija? Da, ja sam impresioniran, mislim, na vistina. Kako je snimen, sodržinata, mislim, čovjek ko gleda ovako film se prašuva, mislim, koliko sme nije v suštnost, kako da kažem, alčni nekako i živejeme v svet, samo sakame poveće i poveće i poveće, a gledame koliko mu je dovoljno v suštnost na jedan čovek i na vistina povrzanosta so prirodate i vse toa. I načinot na koje što je snimen filmat je, mislim, na vistina ne može da se primeti da je dokumentaren, kako da je, kako da glumat ljudjet, a toliko prirodno, mislim, na vistina prekrasno. And it's very, very sad, but it's a great movie to show people there are, there are some places and they have to enjoy what they have and where they live and the, yeah, the place where they live. Did it look like a documentary or maybe like a feature, like scientific movie? Actually, that's what actually amazed me, that even though it's a documentary movie, it didn't look like, and it's so amazing, like it's based on the true story, but it's conveyed in a very different way, and it's, I think it's amazing. So we're talking to Michael Claus, very um, famous uh, filmmaker and artist here in Toronto. Your opinion, your impression about this documentary, Honeyland? Uh, it was a wonderful film, and uh, it uh, got to my heart. Uh, there's uh, so many stories like this from Macedonia of Maka, you know, suffering. And um, I just think it's uh, great to, for the world to see uh, what the people are living through. And... Uh, in a way, the beauty of their struggle. It was more than a documentary, it was art. It was an artwork. I thought, I thought it was a very modern film, even though it had a very primitive feel to it. I think it was all about the environment and how, how as we move along in history, we're, we get very careless and one individual uh, seem to show us what it was like to really care about the environment. Kanadsko tomakiransko mesto vo Toronto na svoj testanari im nudi ugodno živjalište, harmoničan život i odlična usluga.
Отговарайте ги на 416-755-9231. Само што го видовте филмот Honeyland. What do you think about the movie? It was very good. It reminded me of how life used to be back home, how hard people worked and the kids, which was kind of sad but not unusual. It was nice. It was good. I enjoyed it. I'm glad we came. So we have one beekeeper here. Your name? Rinka Sinakowski. What is your um, impression about uh, the film Honeyland? The film Honeyland, uh, very impressed and very sad in a way because the way she was doing the, the honey. And I'm a beekeeper, but different uh, way. It's a really interesting movie, like how uh, it was filmed over three years, right? It's That's so interesting, like how, I don't know, it's just... It's a very interesting movie. The plot's very interesting. Uh, there's a lot of different plot twists in it. And I really enjoy it. Znači, Olga, samo što go vidovte filmot, zemljata na medot, kako vi se dopadna? Mnogo me impresionira koliko, da rečem, destvijo da se slučuva vo Makedonija, makar da se ovje malcinstvo. Koliko narodot je prijatelj po blizog do prirodata, koliko sme ni oddalečeni, to je jedno. I bolnoto mesto vo film odbeše, koga go pokaža Ken Trails i ubivanjeto na pčelite. Ja ne znam koliko ljudje tua go shvatija, ali tua beše najbolnoto i najvažnjata poraka vo toj film. Канадското македонско место во Торонто на своите станари им нуди угодно живеалиште, хармоничен живот и одлична услуга. Побарете ги на 416-755-9231. Во проложение да проследиме една музичка номера. Како што побара сите мои пријатели овде, унари, да опијам како Александар Сариевски кога би бил тука. Еве, ке се подрувам нас. Let me say, she knows. 
Dragi gospoda, kako što kažem, jaz ova pesna ki se potrudam da je odpejam kako ovdje koga bi bil Aleksandar Sarijevski. To ovakav bi zvučilo od prilike. Žali to, žali se sto. Kanadskoto makedonsko mesto vo Toronto na svojte stanari im nudi ugodno življalište, harmoničan život i odlična usluga. Pobarajte gdje na 416-755-9231. I vo današnjova emisija imamo nekoliko informaciji. Za profesionalno i povoljno dizajniranje na web sajtovi pobarajte gdje TJ Hosting na 647-547-3061. Čitajte makedonski vesti, su detaljne informacije i važne natpisi za makedonska ta komuna vo Toronto. Za site vrste na životno osigurovanje, osigurovanje za kritične bolesti, osigurovanje na vaši odkredit za kuke, invalidsko i zdravstveno osigurovanje i osigurovanje koga patuvate, javite se na 647-977-0233. Jaz, ki vi pomognam da ga odberete najdobrato i najpovoljno to osigurovanje za vas. Za grižljiva nega na vaša takosa i nezino profesionalno stiliranje pobarajte Elizabeta na 647-281-5501. Ete počitovani gledači, to je sve što podgotvivme za ova 422. emisija na Makedonsko izdanje. Do naše to sledno vidovanje vi blagodaram za vaše to vnimanje, prijetno i do vidovanje. Thank you.